the way we are moving forward is going to be an encouragement to each one of the people. Okay. President, sir, in continuation to your guidance, we are very happy that this is the fifth hackathon. That means we have already completed 40 excellent speakers who have been the panelists on different subjects in AI. And these all happen to be mostly chartered accountants. You will be happy to know the videos which are being posted on different platforms by various uh, panelists is actually being appreciated across the length and breadth of the country. Good evening, esteemed colleagues, distinguished guests, and all the brilliant minds gathered here today evening. It is both an honor and privilege to welcome you to AI Hackathon 5, an event that truly epitomizes the pioneering spirit and intellectual curiosity of our profession. Today we gather to celebrate the remarkable intersection of two powerful forces, artificial intelligence and finance. Let's start with a round of applause to our very esteemed president, CA Ranjit Nagarwal, and my fellow council colleagues, CA Dhyaniva Sharma and CA Omej Sharma. Their, their visionary leadership and unwavering support continues to be the backbone of our vibrant society and community of chartered accountants. Let me compliment the this committee leadership. Uh, issued had first time started hackathon. Many people are don't know what is hackathon. So this committee has started the word hackathon under leadership of Dayaliwa Sarma and Umesh Sarma. And this is the fifth one. And thank you very much for making this entire terminology so popular amongst the masses of our CF fraternity. And uh, wherever I am also going, people are interested to join this AI uh, committee of the ICI. So thank you, Raj, uh, Ranjit sir, and thank you, Nanda sir. And uh, Ranjit sir, your vision of AI in ICI, it's the first time you have dreamed and we are following that dream under chairmanship of Daya Neva sir. So thank you, sir. And uh, let's wish that all your dreams get true in this AI in ICI in year 2020-24. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Now, let's move toward the another panelist that is CA Alok Sethi. So, let's welcome CA Alok Sethi with his use case. Over to you, Alok Ji. Good evening, sir. Good evening, all the participants. Uh, welcome you to this hackathon. Uh, so, I am presenting a use a simple use case. You have been listening to all the very eminent speakers over a year, over an hour now. Okay, so I think the faces would be looking like this of all the participants. So if this is how it looks when you look for the AI function for the first time. Okay, this was just to bring a smile on your face. Okay, now my use case, I will be discussing on how to do an expense reconciliation where you have a budget and you have actual expenses. So let's say when you plan for your personal expenses or you want for your company's expenses, you create a budget for a category, different category of expenses. And then actually the, actually the expenses happen. So you have one source table in your Excel where the budget is created and then you download your bank statement. And then you manually find out, okay, this is the budget which I set for this expense, but this is how it went. So whether it is over budgeted, over uh, expanded, or it is short expanded, or we have saved any money, but now this can be done automated. This can be automated, and I am using the tool Copilot for this. So how we are going to do this? Let us directly jump to Excel, and I'll show you how this can be done. I hope my Excel screen is visible to everyone. So. First of all, you have to integrate your AI tools into Excel. Now, how do we integrate AI tools into Excel? So you have to go to the home tab and then click on this add in tool over here, add in button over here. And once you come to the add in, you have to again press this add more add ins. And once you are there in the add more add in, you will be able to type in copilot for Excel. So 
Yeah, so it will take you to the Microsoft Office add-in and you have the search button over here. You will just start search for Copilot for finance. And it's a great tool. Right now it is only doing reconciliation, but then you can do much other things also. So here you click on the add button and that get added to your Excel. Now, I'm since I've already added it, I'll just skip this part. You can do that. Now, once you add in, the co-pilot tool what you have to do i have already imported the data so as to save time but i'll just go through it one more time for the participants so ready to explore select the suggestions below to get started so we have the data with us we have one demo trip budget so this file this sheet has weekday date expense category and the budget amount there are different expense category like flight transportation lodging entertainment food etc and the, there is a record of uh, a week, like we have put some budget for these expenses. Now the second sheet has the bank statement where you find that all the date wise expenses which have occurred are there, but it has a column which says transaction category and you have put the similar category which was there in your budget. Now what you do is you click on this reconcile data and then it'll ask you to choose the worksheets which you want to reconcile. So we want to reconcile two worksheets that is the demo trip budget and the demo bank statement. So in the demo trip budget, there is already a table. So in Excel, when you create any table, when you select any data and you press control T, a table is created. This is already a table. You will see the name of the table in the table design tab. This is called trip budget table. Similarly, the demo bank statement has the name bank statement, demo bank statement. So when I select this first sheet, demo trip budget, it automatically takes me to the trip budget table. When I second select the second sheet that is demo bank statement, it takes me to the bank statement table. Now I want to reconcile this. I'll click on next. When I click on next, the AI tool automatically detects the common column between the two tables. So it has given me three hierarchies over here in the budget table, date, expenditure category, and the budget amount. So if you see the uh, trip budget statement, it has the date, it has the expense category, and it has the budget amount. When you come to the bank statement, the three columns which are identified are transaction date, transaction category, and the amount. The headings are different, but you see the data would be similar. Now, when you are satisfied that the AI has identified both the columns properly, then you can click on next. When you click on next, it will read both the tables, the data in the table, and it will create a reconciliation on its own. You can see that the progress is going on now. It is completed to the extent of 100%. Once it is done, you will get a preview in a new sheet created, which is a, which will be automatically generated the report. And this will be called as a reconciliation report. Now let me show you the report. Now see this report is having many tables. So I'll just yeah, walk you through the report. So the first table is unmatched transactions. So the transactions which are not matched between the budget and the total, uh, the bank statement, it is showing that, let me resize the first column because the dates are not visible. Okay, so you can see the dates now, then the expenditure category and the amount. See, 19th Feb 2024 entertainment budget was 160. But on 19th Feb 24 entertainment, the expenditure was 30 rupees only. So there is a difference of 130. Again, same similar transaction, like say 21st Feb, food 120 was the budget. The expenditure is 110. So there is a 10 rupees saving. Wherever there is a saving, it is saying uh, in a plus, uh, in a positive number and wherever there is an over expenditure, the number is coming in negative. So if we analyze on 22nd uh, Feb, the food expenditure was supposed to be 120, but it was actually 150. So there is a 30 rupees negative sign over here. If you see there is a difference of 180, that means the total budget was 1870, but the total expenditure incurred was 2050. 
and there is an over expenditure to the extent of 180. Secondly, now wherever you find potentially matched transactions where you could match the transaction, it is giving you this that uh, these were the transactions which were matched and there is one more category of matched transactions. So the report is going to three parts, unmatched, potentially matched and completely matched. So completely matched are those dates where your expenditure was within the, with, with, within the budget and is the, exactly the same budget. Now, once you do this, once this is done, then what you can do also is to import this, export this report into PDF. So once you do complete the reconciliation, that reconciliation, whatever is done, uh, can be imported, exported in a PDF format. And that PDF report, you can take a printout or you can uh, email to your, uh, your boss or anyone who is whom you are supposed to report. So all this is possible with this case study. So this reconciliation is there and it gives you a complete reconciliation. There is an option of save as PDF. When you click on save as PDF, you will see that reconciliation summary would be there. And now I am on the reconciliation summary. I think uh, you are able to see my uh, screen and it is saying that there are 13 set of transaction perfectly matched. On the second paragraph, it's saying four set of transactions are listed as potential match. That means there are uh, the date and amount is matching, but we need to reconcile. Correction, large two minutes remaining. Yes. And then 14 transactions are such which are not matched. So this is a report which is being generated and you can see. So this is one illustration. Now how you can apply in your practical is you can reconcile your GST ITC credit with this so you can download your data from GST portal and you can download your data from your tally to a, to B to a, and that ledger, you can give the GST number as a mapping key and the amount of CGST or SGST, and that will give you a reconciliation statement out of it. So I hope you liked my case study case and uh, thank you. I'm done. Thank you, Alokji, for the beautiful analysis of the co-pilot finance. And it was a very practical that you shown that where to go, which uh, uh, add-on to be done. And that is very useful for our members and participants to note it down and use the co-pilot finance. It is a new kit which has come up with a lot of capabilities. Uh, and you can use it for the reconciliation. The use case was given by Alokji along with the practical data. And also he has given you glimpses that you can use it for your GST, ITC reconciliation and many more things. So thanks Alokji for your case study on the co-pilot finance and Excel.